Hey everybody, it's been a little while since I made a video outside the context of Sunday morning, but I wanted to make a special video just to let you know some of the interesting things that are happening in the next few weeks. First of all, I know you already know this, but I want to make a special plug for Sunday night's core group relaunch at The Hills House. Now, we are coming out of the weirdest time in our church's history, and we're not even coming out of it yet. We're just coming out of the weirdest summertime. And as a result, we've decided that we really need to start emphasizing what it means for us to just be the church. Remember, the early church didn't have a worship service that they attended every week. The early church didn't have a church-owned building that they attended every week. The early church was all about people living the life of Christ with each other and individually on their own as well. And so we're going to be spending some time over the next few months really trying to emphasize that, trying to encourage you to be the church and all of us to be the church and to kind of reclaim what church is really supposed to be. So yes, of course, Sunday morning, we're gonna continue doing our live stream. And this Sunday evening, we're going to do the barbecue thing over at the Hills House to relaunch our core groups, because we believe that the core groups are sort of the way that you can reconnect and re-engage in a small context with God's people in a way that makes a lot of sense. In your context, maybe it's gonna be just meeting outdoors at someone's house. Maybe it's going to be uh, contacting someone by phone. Maybe it's going to be going out in public in some location, or maybe it's going to be using Zoom or some other technological means. That's up to each individual group of people to decide how they want to do that. We just want you to get together and to begin to reconnect on those relationships. We know how important it is, especially now during all of this weirdness. But one of the things that I really want you to be a part of starts on Sunday also, and that is our 21 days of prayer. We usually do a 21 days of prayer in January because in January, we're usually preparing ourselves for our commitment Sunday in February, renewing our commitment to each other. Well, I tell you what, there's no time to renew our commitment to each other like now. We have been apart from each other. We've been distant from each other. Things have been weird. And just like any family, when you grow apart for too long, you grow apart. So what we want to do is we want to leverage the 21 days of prayer in your life and in the life of our church to help us be united again, to help us be connected again. There's just one problem. We're still not doing live and in-person gatherings. And so the 21 days of prayer is going to be different. Now, if you've experienced our previous 21 days of prayer, they generally take the shape of us meeting together every single day for 21 days. In the morning, we have some sort of worship and prayer experience, no matter what the day is. But during this 21 days, it's going to have to be a little bit different. So this is how it's going to work. Number one, I'm going to ask all of you to spend 21 consecutive days reading God's word and spending time in prayer. I'm serious, I think we all need to reconnect with who God is and what his word says. Because if it's not true in me as an individual, then what difference does it make if I can gather together with other people? It's got to be real in me. And so I want God to enter into my life even more deeply. So first, I'm asking all of you to spend those 21 days, these 21 days starting on Sunday, with some personal private time in God's word and in prayer. Number two, we're gonna help you with that. We're gonna be releasing onto our social media channels every single day during the 21 days, a little video clip, devotional. Some of them are gonna come from me, some from Pastor Reggie, some from other ministers, some from the people in our own congregation who are gonna be recording little video clips of themselves talking about what they're praying about, what's on their heart these days. And seeing all those little video clips and reconnecting with each other that way, I think is gonna be an encouragement to you. I know it's gonna be an encouragement to me. And so I encourage you to tune in every single day to see one of those videos. Now, every one of the videos we're going to post to our YouTube channel and to our Facebook discussion group. And that's because our Facebook page is slightly more um, 
out in the open, you might say, than the other two platforms. You kind of have to know how to get to those ones. And YouTube, it's there, but you know, it's a little bit more private, particularly because we can make videos there unlisted if we need to. There are going to be a couple of videos that I've already been talking with the person who's recorded them, and they said they wanted them to stay a little bit more private. So on those particular videos, we might release them privately on our own website so that you could access them through the app or you could access them directly from our website, maybe through our LCC general discussion group. Uh, some of those questions haven't yet been determined yet. Some of those answers haven't been determined yet. But I'll tell you what, we are going to make sure you've got enough content for you to be connected with God and with God's people during these next few weeks. So there it is. I want you to spend personal time with God. I want you to encounter these videos every single day. And then when we gather virtually on Sundays, I want you to come with an attitude of joy and enthusiasm over what God is about to do. Speaking of which, I want to give you a little hint. A long time ago, and very frequently I say this phrase, I want us to be known as a church more for our service than for our services. We are now in a time where there are some churches who have gone back to full-on worship service, service experiences in person. We haven't done that. We've stayed with our live stream thing and we're doing the small in-person thing on Sundays. And, and I'm not really pushing for us to get back to normal Sunday morning things just yet. Because I still think there's a lesson God is teaching us in all of this. And I think part of the lesson that we haven't yet learned is that we have to be people who are more committed to serving than to attending. And so with that said, I want these 21 days of prayer for you and for me to be consistent prayer asking God, God, what does it mean for me to be a servant? What does it mean for me to be serving the people in this community, in my neighborhood, and even in this church family? Let me invite you to start those prayers even now, but we'll start the 21 days on Sunday. God bless.